Hey, dude. I thought I'd do a really quick video. Uh, my friend um, Charles uh, Walton did a video exposing Facebook, YouTube, news media tricks used to rig U.S. presidential elections. He made some very good points in there, and um, yeah, I feel as I feel my brother's pain. Uh, the other day, he put a video out that his father passed away, and I tried to respond and. Um, I couldn't respond. It said unknown error every time I tried to do a comment on it. And I actually ended up doing a couple of videos on it. And, um, which, you know, they're not getting very much action because, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't know if they're stashed or hidden or blocked or, or whatever. But, uh, I'm going to go into that just a little bit here explain something to you but I ex I explained to Charles I just said uh, Charles my videos have been blocked and or can't be found when searched for for years and years now couple that with false copyrighted content claims it's basically shut me down my key words never seem to work this big brother indeed has control over what gets out and what is to be considered as newsworthy and what is not. Beyond that, my bank accounts have been messed with and my ATM card being turned off. Thus, my access to money has been cut off for the most part. And I am a true Christian missionary here in the Philippines. I have never monetized any of my videos and rely solely on the contributions and donations to exist. And of course, the goodness and mercy of God. I do have a website where I sell MP4s and MP3 copies of the Scoby King James Bible, but have only sold one in all the time it's been up. I make about $5 per sale, and the first $100 goes to the Bible owner in the distribution site. So I'm $95 upside down. This doesn't include the large expense of making the site itself. Thus I'm close to the end, but hanging on in order to expose as much truth as I can before it all melts down. I have two teeth with holes in them the size of pencil erasers and I struggle seeing, thus reading, as I need better glasses. My wife needs an operation, a second one, and she has already had one, but we have no money for same. The so-called Christian church is nowhere to be found as they flock to those that tickle their itching ears, as is written that they will, while they avoid those that actually tell the truth. It seems as though the church avoids those that are willing to call a liar a liar, a thief a thief, a homosexual a homosexual, i.e. a sinner a sinner etc etc as they just want peace at any cost well there's not going to be any peace according to my Bible as Christ did not come to bring peace but a sword his words not mine hence this whole thing surely isn't going to end pretty for most and I share your frustration in trying to get the word out rest assured my friend that you are not alone in your struggle Many that do monetize videos in order to create income have been cut off in the effort to shut them up, no doubt. Take storm clouds gathering as just one of many, many examples, as he has had over 50 videos demonetized without explanation. So, all of this said, keep fighting the good fight and hang in there. In Jesus' name, I pray for you, brother, and beware of the ET and R-E-D, which means extra-dimensional, deception, as they are not our friends, and this whole web thing serves the fallen ones and their minions more than it serves the righteous, since it is so heavily controlled and monitored, I could go on and on for hours. But I'm sure that you get the point. Blessings to you, Kev out. So with that, 
Yeah, I see a lot of problems. I see a lot of false teaching in the church. And I see people just flocking and flocking to the, to the church. There are those, uh, those false teachers. And it doesn't matter if you show them scripture. I mean, it's just written right there in black and white. And they still embrace these things that they want to hear. They have itching ears. And they don't want to actually believe what the word says. And some of these people come up with the wildest explanations and interpretations of what the scriptures mean. And even when you expose them, people just continue, you know, to follow them and support them. So it's, it's, it totally amazes me. So, you know, again, I just wanted to give a shout out to Charles Walton. He's got a good channel. And um, he just did a pretty good video here on exposing, you know, how the, you know, the tricks that the various outlets use to control the U.S. elections. So with that, you guys might want to take a look and support my friend Charles. And Charles, if you see this, I'm really sorry to hear about your dad. I know how painful that is, but, you know, personally, I look forward to graduating myself because this place is a total nut house. And um, it just doesn't seem to be, you know, worth it sometimes. But, uh, you know, they say you get more flack when you're over the bomb site. So, uh, you know, with that, blessings to you, brother. Good luck to you. And if I can do anything for you, let me know. And the same goes for all you guys. So you guys take care. God bless you. Hang in there. Bye now.